Hey everyone, this is Coloring Chemist. My name is Connie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Oh, this is so exciting. This is Matchstick Mouse, a winter coloring book by Morgan O'Brien. So this is the brand new Morgan O'Brien Matchstick Mouse coloring book. Now, I kind of cheated a little bit. Well, not exactly. It wasn't cheating. <laughs> but this is um, a PDF copy of the book that I have printed on mixed media cardstock and then used my ProClick binding machine to bind. This isn't quite available on Amazon just yet um, in bound form. So what is today? Today is Wednesday, November 15th, 2023. It should be available on Amazon soon, but I was just so excited that I went to Morgan O'Brien's Kofi page and purchased the PDF. So, should we take a look at some of these images? Sorry about the glare here. It's, um, it's, it's a very sunny day today, which has been odd for us lately. It's been very cloudy. And uh, I've got my filming lights on, but I've also, you can see the shadow here. Um, well, hopefully the, the glare will go away a bit when I, when I get into it. So there's the cover. Oh, I was going to read a little bit. This is from the description that's on the Kofi page. It says, Matchstick Mouse, a winter coloring book. Winter is coming and Matchstick Mouse has very special visitors to the borough. Her niece and nephew have come to stay. Matchstick Mouse is a girl. I know quite often um, you hear Matchstick Mouse referred to as him, but it's actually her. Uh, she's a witch, right? Join Matchstick Mouse, Worm, Cat Beetle. I love Cat Beetle. So his, her, see, I stood there. Um, her little beetle friend is, is like her cat, so it's Cat Beetle. And a host of furry friends in this frosty winter-themed adventure. Ice skating, snowball fights, seasonal crafting, and cooking warm, yummy treats. The perfect coloring book for those cool winter evenings. Featuring 30 brand new winter-inspired themed illustrations. And then just as the world of Matchstick Mouse, Matchstick Mouse is a tiny pint-sized witch, a caring little soul with a heart of gold and a penchant, penchant for adventure. She loves, she loves nothing more than forging for treasures and creating handmade gifts for her friends. And then just about the author, Morgan O'Brien lives with his wife and two children on the windy west coast of Ireland. By day, he creates award-winning animated films and television series. By night, he befriends monsters, fights crime, and plays Sudoku with mice. So I just thought that was fun. All right, are you ready to take a look at these images? Now... Again, I printed this on cardstock. This is not Amazon print paper. Um, but, I mean, you know, I've, we've all looked at Amazon print books. We know what the paper is like. So this is just, it's like a little special treat for me, actually. Here's the first image. Sorry, there's a shadow there. Let's see if I can move my light and adjust it a bit. I think. I think that's about as good as we're going to get. Picking up some sticks, maybe for a fire. There she is. There's the niece or the nephew. Ice skating. So that looks like the, the larger one looks like the, the nephew. And this is maybe the niece. I'm just, I'm guessing based on clothing, which, I mean, it, you know, shouldn't necessarily make assumptions, but um, you've got sort of a little kind of frilly collar on the coat. Almost looks like little, I don't know, like a, a little hairdo under the hat there. Oh, Mouch Stick Mouse has to soak her feet in a tub of hot water after the skating. I hear you, Match Stick Mouse. <laughs> Ice skating makes my feet ache, too. It's fun, but it makes my feet ache. So they're sitting by fire, maybe having some hot cocoa there. How cute. I do love Matchstick Mouse. I love the illustrations. That's a new friend. I don't know that we've seen that friend before. Owl? Oh, and it's hurt its wing. So Matchstick Mouse is wrapping some bandages around the wing. Oh, and I love the fact that this is winter. I also have Matchstick Mouse Christmas, and I love that Christmas book as well. But 
winter here in Central Canada is so long <laughs> um, that, you know, we've got snow until at least March. Uh, and, and not having any snow in March is kind of rare. So once Christmas is over, I, I'm a very seasonal colorist and I do like to do that seasonal coloring. But once Christmas is over, we've got, you know, three months of winter coloring that I can do. And uh, so it's nice to have a book that is, it's snowy and it's winter, but it's not Christmas. So I'm, I'm super excited about this one. Well, that's a new friend too. I don't think I've seen the squirrel friend before. It, maybe I have, maybe I'm mistaken. Looks like they've had found some peanuts there. I've just recently started feeding my birds, uh, my birds, feeding the birds. Uh, I can't put the feeders out too early in the fall. Otherwise the bears will just rip them down and destroy them. And so I have to wait for the bears to go into hibernation and they, they should be in hibernation now. So I put the feeders out and they're right outside my window. Uh, you might see a little bit of footage in a, in a future video. I just love, I love watching the birds. The peanuts made me think of that because I put peanuts out for the birds. They're sledding, tobogganing, as we say here in Canada. This little friend worm looks like he's very much enjoying himself, herself. I don't know if the worm is a him or a her. Snowball fights. Yes, I've participated in many a snowball fight. Shoveling, also something I've done a lot of. I love Matchstick Mouse is shoveling with a spoon, which I think would make sense. Look, even Cat Beetle has a tiny, teeny little shovel and is shoveling. Worm is not helping. Worm is just playing. Oh well, that's okay, Worm. You're awfully cute. You have little snow goggles on, so that's okay. Oh, that stick mouse lost her hat in the wind. And I mean, this is, this, you know, looks to me, for me anyway, would be a very early winter, late fall picture, right? You know, the wind is blowing. There's maybe a few bits of snow in the air. It doesn't look like much snow on the ground, maybe a little. Uh, but very windy, some, some dried leaves are blowing around. Yeah, that's very late fall, early winter uh, for us here. I know lots of you might live in a place where you don't have snow in the winter or, or sort of the occasional snow and then it melts. So then you still get a lot of, you know, leaves blowing around during the winter. But once, once the snow comes and stays here, I mean, we, we just don't get that. This, what did I, oh, okay, I don't know if I can get the camera to pick this up. If any of you live where it gets cold enough that your window gets, on the inside gets frost, you can take your finger and draw on the frost on the window, right? Because the heat of your finger will melt the frost. So I don't know if you can see, that's what they're doing. Because on the window, or, or, it's, you know, you assume it's glass because it's got, you know, sort of those, those marks that we use to indicate glass on, on illustrations. And then there's like, like a, an outline in front of each of them. And you can see Matchstick Mouse has her little finger up. Oh, that would be, I, I don't know how to color that. I will have to think about that. <laughs> I, I don't, hmm. I mean, I would, I don't know, because it's not white. When you do that on your window, it's, it's, it's clear, right? Because the window would be frosty, but if I make the window frosty, you won't be able to see the critters behind it. Hmm. I will have to think about that. Yeah. Cause normally the window is frosty. And then where you put your finger, you're, you're melting the ice on the window basically. Right. So then it's, it's back to just clear glass. Hmm, have to think about that one. Well done, Morgan, for, for uh, giving us some new things to color. I don't think I've ever seen that as an as a element on a coloring page before. 
making some baking. Oh, no, not baking. Uh, I think she's making candles. Maybe. Because there's a, there's a cup here with a, a stick across the top and a string tied to the middle of the stick. And I think that's like a wick. I think she's making candles and she looks like she's got cloves. I would say that's what those are. I don't know if you can see them there. It looks, it's like a, a little teeny stick with a poofy thing on the end. That's, that's a whole clove. And then we've got probably an orange slice, some cinnamon sticks there. Maybe lavender, dried lavender. So I think Matchstick Mouse is making candles and then pouring the melted wax in. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. She's saying hello to her spider friends. Oh, she, oh, she's, so she's opened up, uh, this is one of those, those dormer, is that what they call them? Dormer windows? Like they're up in the peak of the house. And then you push and they, they tilt, right? That's how you open them. So you push top or bottom. Maybe she's letting them in cause they're cold. And I don't actually like spiders. <laughs> I, I'm not afraid of, of a lot of things. Snakes are fine. Bird, you know, pretty much everything. Spiders, there's something about them. I don't know, but Morgan O'Brien spiders are awfully cute. So maybe Matchstick Mouse is letting them in cause they're cold. Oh, here the niece and nephew are all snuggled up in bed. Looks like maybe they've, they've drawn some pictures. That's a teeny, I don't know if you can see that. It's a teeny little dinosaur. <laughs> see that there? And then just a picture of Matchstick Mouse and maybe Matchstick Mouse riding a dinosaur. I don't know. So I don't know if those are pictures that the niece and nephew are, have drawn. I don't know. Looks like maybe Matchstick Mouse is bringing them breakfast in bed. It's maybe a pancake or something, some oatmeal. It's snowing outside. It's just so cozy. I mean, I know winter can get long here. And by March, I'm, I'm pretty done with winter. But right now, you know, it's kind of, I realize meteorologically, it's not the start of winter yet. That's not till what, December 21st, 22nd. And it's only November 15th. But... And it's very winterish here, so I, I I do love winter. I love the coziness of it. Here they've built a an igloo, and the the niece is building little. They look like little snow mice or snow bears. They have ears. She's built a teeny tiny one, and a medium sized and a big one. Maybe it's like the three bears, baby, Papa, Mama, and baby. I don't know. It's just very cute. Now, that's not a typical winter scene for me, but it could be for a lot of you where you are. They are playing in the rain. Splashing around. The little niece has a little flowered raincoat. That's very cute. Um, cutting fruit cake, maybe? Maybe that's what that is. And then there's some presents here. So this could be sort of a little nod to Yule Christmas kind of thing, maybe. But I I would think that's a fruit cake. That's what it looks like to me. And then Matchstick Mouse has like a oh my goodness, what do you call them? They're like a, a slicer cutter. Oh, they probably have a name. If you know the name of it. Um, please don't hesitate to, to let me know in the comments below T to cut. Oh, I want to say spatula, but that's not right anyway. But yeah, that's what it looks like to me is maybe fruitcake, some dried oranges and flowers. I don't know if that's a little bowl of, it looks like it has tiny little flowers in it. So potpourri maybe. And some presents here, matchstick mouse is reading under the covers. That's always fun. With cat beetle, and worm, there's some leaves. So again, a little nod to sort of the end of fall, but it is snowing outside. 
Looks like some little pine branches up here, so. And here they are having a snack, it looks like. I'm not sure what they're eating. Could be peanuts or maybe a carrot. I don't know. The niece has like a little curl of something. So carrot peels maybe? I don't really know. I love a little floofy scarf that Matchstick Mouse has on. And the nephew has a scarf. There's just really some fun opportunities there for coloring, you know, fabrics and, and what have you. That's a new friend. I don't think I've seen that one before. Got a... I would say a, a stag, a deer. Reindeer? Maybe? We have a white-tailed deer. That, that live around here. Um, but they're, they don't have this kind of rough on them and their antlers kind of don't, like a moose, we also have moose here, um, but their antlers would be quite a bit more, I think spatulate is the word, broader. And this looks more like a deer, but I know in Scotland and England too, I think you guys have, is it red deer? And I think they have more of a rough like that. But Matchstick Mouse riding up here. And there's Worm. Tiny little Worm. So that's very nice. Again, this looks to me like more of a an early spring, which to us could be April. <laughs> but for some of you, I know, you know, you're looking at spring earlier than that. But you've got, it almost looks like some spring flowers here. Some, some old leaves and... And the frog is sleeping in the boot. I think we've seen a frog before either. Lots of new friends in this book. And a turtle. Have we seen a turtle? Book? And I apologize if I have seen these, if these characters have appeared before and I just don't remember them. Um, I apologize for that. It's like Matchstick Mouse is listening underground. The turtle is hibernating. Maybe the frog was probably hibernating too. So we sort of got an above ground, below ground scene there. Oh, feeding the birds. Love feeding the birds. Way to go, Matchstick Mouse. Doing a puzzle, having a little bit of tea. Snowing outside. The spider has stolen a piece of the puzzle. <laughs> Oh, I see, because there's one piece. I mean, Matchstick Mouse looks a little mm, disconcerted because there's one piece missing, and maybe they can't find it because the spider's stolen it. I get it. I get it. I don't think the spider stole it on purpose. Oh, Matchstick Mouse looks like she's not feeling well. <laughs> Hot water bottle. Eyes look a little, little, uh, oh, what's the word? Roomy? R-H-E-U-M-Y. She's got a cold. A little must hair there. And somebody has left some soup and bread for her. Aww. This is, I don't know if this is a nighttime scene or not. I, you know, I would be, I would like to color some nighttime winter snow scenes. Because I think that would be an interesting thing to color. Because, yeah, you can see snow at night depending on if, you know, you, you can. So, it's snow falling is what I'm saying. So I don't know if they're out stargazing. You know, they, they're all wrapped up. They're, they're in blankets. Okay, the nephew isn't. But we've got some cocoa maybe or soup. There's smoke coming out of the chimney. So yeah. I mean, you wouldn't have to make that a night scene. Ice fishing. I mean, that's definitely a big thing around here. The ice on the lakes. Most of the time 
gets, well, it definitely gets thick enough um, for ice fishing. And in lots of places, it will get thick enough that you can drive cars on it because there will be ice roads put in. So. I feel like we've seen the guinea pig before, but maybe not. I think that's a guinea pig. Looks like a guinea pig. Catching snowflakes on their tongue. That's always fun. There's the little niece mouse. Looking for maybe buds or seeds. Looks like Matchstick Mouse has some acorns there. Those look like spruce cones. So those look like pine. There is a difference between, we have a lot of pine and spruce around here, so I, I can usually tell the difference between, and then there's different subspecies of those. Um, but pine nuts, you know, that you buy in a little bag in the grocery store and then you can make pesto with them. They actually do come from pine, a certain kind of pine cone because inside the, the pine cone, that's where the seeds are. But those, eh, maybe those are more pine-ish. Yeah, they might be more pine-ish. Looks like they have some homemade soup and bread. Looks like some vegetable soup, some mushrooms in there, and some broccoli or cauliflower. The little worm has his tongue out because he's hungry and it, he thinks it's going to be good. Nothing better than fresh bread and homemade soup in the winter. I think this is the last image. So we've got Matchstick Mouse with the niece and the nephew. Lovely. And then I just printed the whole file, so it came the last page, because that's normally, I think, on the back side of the books. It's just the copyright information there. We're going to Brian Art. So there is Matchstick Mouse, a winter coloring book. Like I say, I will link... It, it's not out on, on Amazon yet, uh, but I will link the, the Kofi page below. It was... It was four pounds, like British UK pounds. Um, and because I used my, my PayPal account to pay for it, I don't think it gave me a conversion. I didn't notice if it did. So whatever four UK pounds converts to in your currency, <laughs> that's how much this is to purchase on Kofi, which I mean, is a, is a wonderful price. And I'm, I, you know, I'm lucky enough to have a really nice color laser printer. Uh, I bought it for my, my own home business, online teaching business. So I'm, I'm lucky to have that. So yeah, I can print these really, really great versions of PDFs, you know, with the color cut. I wouldn't have had to print the color cover, but I like it. I just like the, the coloration there. All right. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed that. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I think I might have to do some coloring in here. And I I, I probably will get the printed book when it comes out. I just love Matchstick Mouse, but I was so excited when I saw this and, and I just had to, had to get it right away. I hope everyone is safe. I hope everyone is well, and I hope everybody is enjoying their coloring. Until next time, bye-bye.